All right, we're back in PyCharm. Now, we've installed requests. We've installed Beautiful Soup. These are the packages we need to finish our app. But before we move on from this concept of pip and installing packages, let's see what PyCharm has to offer because PyCharm actually has a really cool built-in package management selected interpreter sort of uh, UI here. So I can go over here and open the preferences or on OS 10, I can hit command comma. That works in basically all apps. So nothing special here, but here's the preferences and you can search for project interpreter or I already have it selected. So that's all good. And notice it has the packages right here. These are the packages that are installed in Python 3.5 for this machine. And notice right here that there's a little arrow. So it looks like there's actually an upgrade from 191 to 193. And I could come down here and hit upgrade. Now, I know that this particular one won't upgrade successfully because it's actually already installed in the global Python interpreter. And that means I'd have to do this as sudo or admin. And PyCharm is not currently running that way, so it's not going to work. But I can install new ones and upgrade the ones that I've installed locally in my user profile. So let's go and actually install one. When I type pip install something, I have to know what that something is. But in PyCharm, I don't. I can hit plus and say, oh, I'm interested in requests. And here's not just requests itself with uh, who the author is. Kenneth writes, does amazing, amazing work and has his email and the link to the homepage. But it also has all the other ones like here's request cloud auth and requests for Facebook and requests for Facebook, Python 3, and, and so on. And we're not going to do anything with those, but check out how cool this is that we can just type this in and get it. What I am going to install is another package by Kenneth Wright, one that he just came out with called Records, which is a uh, vast simplification on top of the database access, the DB API 2 that comes with Python. So I can come over here and look for Records. And you can see SQL for Humans by Kenneth Wrights. So let's install it. I could even specifically uh, set a version and things like that. See down here, it sort of gives you a progress bar. And in a moment, we get package records successfully installed. And now if we go over here and look for records, you can see it's in our packages and we can manage it, upgrade it, and so on. So if you're using PyCharm and you're new, I kind of recommend this to get you started. It helps you discover things and so on. As you get more experienced in Python, uh, you'll find yourself probably down on the command line a little more often.